Doug Kide. All right. Hello and welcome to this week's Mailbag. I'm Doug Kide. If you have a question for me, tweet it to me at Doug Kide using the hashtag MailDog, and I will try to answer it. First question here comes from Brandon Cruz, who asks, what is the wide receiver depth chart at the start of the season? It's a very good question. The Patriots have a lot of question marks at wide receiver right now. We were just out at the first OTA session of the spring. Demarius Thomas was not out there. He's recovering from that torn Achilles. Wide receiver Josh Gordon also was not out there. He's still suspended. So I'm going to remove those guys from the depth chart to start the season. I think that Gordon probably will still start the season with that suspension. I think that Thomas could be placed on physically unable to perform list and come back after week eight. So my depth chart, Julian Edelman there at the top. Then you've got Nikhil Harry, Patriots first round pick uh, in the 2019 NFL Draft. He was very good out there during the OTA session. After him, I've got Philip Dorsett, then Dontrell Inman, and I think they'll probably only keep Matthew Slater as a fifth wide receiver, at least to start the season, knowing that either Thomas or Gordon could be coming back at the midway point. Second question here is from Matt, who asks, Jamie Collins wearing number eight, cool thing or the coolest thing? Patriots linebacker Jamie Collins returned to New England. His number 91 is not available. Dietrich Wise is wearing that. He wore number 51 for the Cleveland Browns. That's also not available. Juwan Bentley is wearing it. So Collins is wearing number eight. That was one of his numbers in college. It is a temporary number, but I think it's awesome. I think the players should be able to wear whatever numbers they want. There are some funky numbers around the Patriots right now because all the rookies are wearing numbers from 50 to 72 right now. We've also got defensive end Nick Thurman wearing number 86. I'm all for it. I wish the Collins could keep number eight during the regular season, but he won't be able to. He will have to pick a number at some point. Third and final question from Eric says, why sign Ryan Allen, then draft a punter in the fifth round? Rationale? I think the Patriots just want some competition there at the punter position. Ryan Allen did not sign with much money guaranteed on his contract, so he easily could be cut. If Jake Bailey doesn't work out, he was only a fifth round pick. Sure, they traded up for him, but he also could be cut. So I think there will be a competition there at the punter position. I will say during this first OTA session, Ryan Allen was not here and Jake Bailey had one hell of a practice. He was really skying the ball and it seemed like he even impressed Patriots kicker, Steven Goskowski with some of his hang time. So early lead goes out to Jake Bailey, but that will be a competition to watch throughout the spring and summer.